Welcome to the first in the series of the success steps infographics. In the third level success steps infographics series, we feature Manage Smart, which is what we're going to be going through in detail today. The next video in this webinar series will be dealing with Market Smart and the eight critical steps to have develop a successful and effective marketing strategy. The third set will be People Smart Steps to Success. The fourth set will be Tech Smart, which is a combination of office and technology. The fifth step of success steps are Finance Smart. The sixth in the series is Facility Smart. The seventh is Risk Smart. And the eighth is Inspire Smart. Today, what we are doing is the Manage Smart Steps to Success. And we have several documents to illustrate each of the eight areas. From the business manager and defining what a business manager does, through the success stages that only you can define, through your corporate form and organization, especially in the USA, with credence paid to other countries, Australia, Mexico, Canada, etc. The business model you adopt and on purpose, the cultural standards you employ for decision-making foundations, the business systems and why you employ them. The success step series, of course, is a set of business systems that are backed up by the online best practices library of 2000 plus document templates, as well as our conferences and personal consulting and the business management success courses, long-term value planning and fearless leadership. So looking at this first, let's take the business manager. What does a business manager really do? Well, it's actually fairly simple. A business manager is working on strategy and systems, strategy for the future and systems to make those strategies hum and give their key people, the tools they need to get the job done correctly. This whole PDF set is, of course, accompanied, uh, the accompaniment to this webinar. And you might say also, in terms of small business success, what defines small business success? Well, according to Clayton Mask of Infusionsoft, there are a number of different stages of small business success that only you can define where you want to end up from solopreneur, to a partnership, to a steady operation, to a local success story, to a managed organization, a mature company, or a corporate player. And what Mr. Mask identifies is the stages, pardon me, is the stages at which you are at in each one. And what the success factor is over on the far side, as you can see, as a solopreneur, it's time, a partnership, it's salesmanship to get to the next phase of steady operation. It takes marketing and service and understanding those things. To get to a local success story, it takes setting the vision. You can get to a managed organization. You have to hire to the vision. A mature company has a lot of strategic planning, of course, and corporate players have a lot of leader development. So you can define where you want to be on the chart. It's up to you. But the point is to make that decision. There is a chart in the next two pages that defines, at least for the USA, uh, the business entity and corporate form selection. In other words, would you either be a sole proprietorship or maybe an LLC or a general or limited partnership or a C corporation or even an S corporation? And what on the left side, what are the ramifications of each type of corporate lifetime event that are factored across the top and the types of companies. In other words, your capital structure, your liability exposure, your choice of tax year, the number of owners you can have, the tax on your income and how it's treated. There's a lot of deals that are here in terms of deductibility of losses, your tax basis in the ownership interest, the sale of the assets or the sale of your ownership assets, assets or what happens on distribution of death. The, these types of of uh, corporate forms are explored here, and you can actually take a look at those. When you start talking about your business model, 
one of the things that you can look at uh, that's really interesting is what in your child activity center, the top ship up here, sports and arts, entertainment, education, choosing the programs that you want to employ on purpose. Which type of sports and arts? Maybe you want to have just dance and be great at it. Maybe just swim. Maybe just gymnastics. Maybe you want to be just an educational preschool or a child care center. Maybe just an entertainment center. Maybe a combination of those. Maybe all three. Either way, in the child activity center realm, you want to choose on purpose. And that's the whole point, is choose on purpose what your business model is going to be. All of us pretty much have the same customer base. Customer base is composed of children, parents, and staff. They're all customers. We need to understand that. And as a child developmental team, we have to employ our instructors, engage the parents, and of course, inspire the students. And that's really the team that comprises um, the child developmental aspects of what we do. So between the child activity center model, your customer base, and the child development team, we need some kind of a tool to get us to this island of business success over here. And it is attainable. One of the things that we have done is to uh, develop a set of what we call third level success solutions dashboards for program managers, office managers, and administrators or owners. When we did this, uh, it then brought everyone together in terms of how they work strategically, their position description, uh, their self-rating system, their action items, their success logs, all of that, and we'll cover that in just a moment. But along the far left side here, we call this the business success triads, your model, your customer base, your development team, and everybody working together, the program managers, office managers, and administrators or owners. Okay, uh, next is establishing your cultural cornerstones, and this is the decision-making foundations upon which all critical decisions are made. In this particular case, it might have to do with safety, being passionate and professional, committed to the team and communication, creating a positive experience for everybody, maybe embracing a solution-based approach and being a part of the fabric of the community. You and your company and your key people will define your own cultural cornerstones. The point here is that you have to have them to make the critical decisions in your business. Again, this is the manage smart success steps. It's the big picture. We'll get into much more specifics in marketing, people, technology, finance, facility, and risk, but this is the big picture. The top reasons why most businesses fail has to do with lack of systems. And this article, the top reasons why most businesses fail, has to do specifically with that. And it talks about a number of factors, uh, 14, for example, uh, in which systems is actually the answer. And so when you decide to employ business systems, we certainly recommend the success steps along with the best practices library, then business management success courses, and the personal consulting to help you do exactly that. When you talk about business value, every single day, there is business value that is either being built or it's coming down. There is no neutral. Entropy sees to that, the constant decay of everything. We're either doing things 10% better or 10% worse every day, and we'd like to have it better. So systems and processes and procedures and the steps to those procedures are the things that really drive us forward. And that's why we call our system the success steps. Anyway, you can go through and review that. But I just wanted to point out to you that we have a roadmap for increasing the value to meet your overall operating or exit objectives. And that article is very, very good. When you talk about leadership and fearless leadership, we put a couple of articles in here. It's no longer measured by money or power. Uh, anymore, leadership success is firmly measured by the opportunities and advancement that leaders create for others and the quality of their ideas. You'll find that to be a fascinating article. We also put in here an article by Mr. Stephen Covey on the eight characteristics of effective leaders mainly that they're always growing and learning, they're service oriented, they radiate positive energy, they believe in other people, they lead balanced lives, they see life as an adventure, and they're synergistic, and they find ways to renew themselves. There's also the 12 principles of leadership from Cornerstone Leadership, 
which is a great leadership company. You'll find that. And lastly, but not least, I want to remind you that the Success Solutions dashboards, which are all an integrated online mobile app that is part of the third level membership experience, uh, you will find that the professional, which is the owner or administrator, that dashboard, along with the office professionals dashboard, along with the program managers dashboards, you will find that those working in sync in a triangle uh, will pull your operation into new levels of operation and operational and profitability um, aspects. I think you'll like them quite a bit. At any rate, I hope you've enjoyed this. My name is Frank Saline, and I'm the CEO of Third Level Consulting. Thanks for joining us, and please be sure to tune in to the Market Smart webinar, which is the next one.